What is going on everybody? This is Soccer Junkie and today I'm bringing you my review of Manchester United's goalless draw against Burnley away. Now, going into this game, I was feeling quite confident, you know, this is because god damn it we're playing against Burnley FC who are not very good, not good at all. And I thought Manchester United will finally get a win. But no, no, Manchester United didn't even come close to winning this game. It was so bad. It was absolutely terrible performance from Manchester United. Once again, Jesus Christ. Christ. Um, the defense. Jesus, the defense is so bad still. The three at the back are completely, you know, out of sync. Uh, the fullbacks, or not supposed to be fullbacks, or supposed to be wingbacks, they're playing like fullbacks. Ashley Young continues to struggle going forward when he needs to. He And when he does go forward, he puts out the crosses that never reach the person that he's trying to cross the ball to absolutely terrible performance from Ashley Young once again every week he looks worse and worse and worse and I don't know how he's doing it to be honest because after last game I don't know how he can be worse than that but he managed to be worse than the last game absolutely terrible performance from him uh, Tyler Blackett also didn't look quite good for me either sure he passed the ball a few times pretty nicely uh, but then again a few times he passed the ball to the wrong person and I don't want to see that ever again Manchester United cannot play like this and once again I hope Louis Van Gaal can just put it in the freaking brain of Ashley Young and, and uh, Antonio Valencia and actually tell them you guys are supposed to be going forward you're not supposed to be playing as fullbacks you're supposed to be playing as wingbacks therefore you need to be going forward more often and not sitting at the back the whole time because then it turns into five at the back and five at the back is not a very good formation going forward at all uh, very much so you know they are still struggling with their defensive schemes now it was a debut for our new man Angel De Maria who I thought looked quite good actually uh, his pace definitely helps uh, he was running past people dribbling taking on people very nice to see um, sure he passed the ball kind of wrong places the wrong time a few times but you know he's kind of still adjusting to the players around him so I'm not gonna give him um, you know any bad rep for that um, so yeah overall I thought it was a very good performance from my hand Maria um, he did get off the game he he, he got substituted by Anderson <laughs> Anderson came on for Di Maria because Di Maria is still adjusting to the speed of the Premier League so it makes sense I hope he you know continues to get his fitness to 100% because he hasn't played for Real Madrid all that much this uh, offseason so he needs the fitness and I hope he adjusts to the Premier League fairly soon. Hopefully this international break will help Manchester United get their act together finally. Come on guys. Now Juan Mata for me had an absolutely awful game. He had two brilliant chances to score and every single time, well two times, he completely missed the ball. Completely missed the ball. Darren Fletcher, I mean he, was, he looked invisible today. He looked completely invisible. He, I don't see him do anything out there. Absolutely anything. Yeah he passed the ball a few times but Heck, I can do that, okay? So, not very good performance from him. Um, Robin Van Persie was not at his sharpest. He had a brilliant opportunity to score with like, um, it was in the beginning of the first half, he had great opportunities from an excellent ball provided by Angel de Maria, but he went for power instead of, you know, precision and keeper was able to block it. So, and overall his performance was not good. Um, he was not making the runs that he would normally make. And when he was on the ball, he wasn't very sharp at all. So I hope he's gonna get his fitness back to where he needs he needs to be. Um, hopefully, this international break will help you know the rest of the team out, so they can get their fitness back and get accustomed to the system and really start to play like a cohesive unit rather than a bunch of individuals. Um, De Gea, De Gea, surprisingly for me, struggled with clearing the ball. I mean a lot of his passes went to wrong players or just completely out of out of a ballpark he was really bad performance from De Gea as well sure he made a couple of saves but kicking should never be a keeper's problem like never he needs to stop hanging out with Johnny Evans because I think he got this from Johnny Evans Johnny Evans that bastard is contagious or something because if you're hanging out around him enough you'll start giving the ball away as you know too so United had a clear shout at a penalty, but it wasn't given by the ref. Clearly the ball hit the hand of the defender in the box, intentional, 
no penalty given. What the hell is going on? Really unlucky there for United. But at the same time, we kind of didn't deserve to win anyways. And who's to say that we're actually going to put the penalty away? Probably didn't. Um, and later on, Mata came off injured. Uh, apparently he injured his hamstring. Jesus, we're dealing with so many injuries. God damn it, we need players to recover and not get injured. Uh, I hope, uh, you know, Herrera, Shaw and, I, and hopefully Rojo will finally be able to play the next time we um, Manchester United will play because Jesus Christ, so many injuries. This is not very good. In other news, Manchester United today have signed Daily Blind. Well, they agreed to sign Daily Blind. Uh, they basically agreed to fee for Ajax. I think it's around 14 million pounds. I think it's an excellent move because he is very versatile. He can play center back, he can play a left back, and he can play a center mid, which we all and we need help pretty much in all of those positions at the moment while players are injured. So really good to see, but but this game really proved to me that we still need to sign a quality center back. If we don't sign a quality center back, I don't think we're finishing in top four or ever anywhere near top four because the defense looks completely out of sync the three at the back the johnny evans giving the ball away so many times to the wrong people it's like it's terrible to see um anyways later on i will be posting a, a, my review of uh, chelsea and everton game i'm really excited to see that game i i'm predicting actually uh, i'm thinking it's gonna be a 2-1 win for everton so hopefully they'll come true because you know chelsea losing hmm, makes me happy hey anyways um, let me know what you thought of this game in the comments below, leave a like on the video and PEACE!